when I was a young man, I didn't think very much about the Spirit at all. I knew that there was a Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Um, we sang the doxology every, every week as we were bringing forward the, the offering. So I knew, I knew there was a spirit, um, but I don't think I really had a category. Um, I didn't know, I, I kind of had a sense of what the father did and what the son did, and I wasn't really sure about the spirit. As a teenager, I um, attended a, a Christian school that was run by a, a charismatic church. And so there's a great deal of awareness of and talk about the spirit there, which that, that was a good thing. Um, but it was mostly associated with um, kind of extraordinary and miraculous activity and um, kind of supernatural gifts of the spirit and so forth. So I spent a lot of time toward the end of high school thinking about that and thinking, well, I. I I definitely want to live by the Spirit. I want to be a spiritual person, but uh, I don't know if, I don't know, the, the work of the Spirit is focused exclusively in this kind of, these extraordinary manifestations that I'm seeing here, or if this is something I need to be more open to. So. The tradition that I received kind of growing up was kind of cashed out to human is bad, human is dangerous, and uh, so one of the exciting things that emerged from studying um, the doctrine of the Holy Spirit and studying scripture as I was working on Creator Spirit was to see that actually the work of the Spirit is to make us human and that Jesus comes as uh, the Word of God, the Son of God, but also as the true human, um, the last human, as Paul says, the eschatos Adam. And the work of the Spirit is to conform us to the perfect humanity of Jesus Christ to make us truly and fully human. Um, and so that's, there was something uh, very surprising about that. I, I don't think I would have disagreed with any of those ideas as a young man, but um, it was helpful and freeing as I worked on Creator Spirit to recognize that God doesn't want to make me something other than human. God wants to make me truly human. I think one of the ways that, that um, thinking about that it was helpful to think about the Holy Spirit as the humanizing spirit is just to recognize that spirituality isn't something that happens apart from our lives, apart from our lived experience, but in the midst of our lived experience. So we don't necessarily go away from our ordinary lives in order to be spiritual. Um, the, of course, there's a, a time and a place for things like retreats and silence and going apart from one's ordinary life. But the spirit life is something that is meant to be lived out in the midst of relationships, in the midst of work. Um, so if you think about um, the kind of life that Jesus lives, you know, Jesus is the Messiah, the anointed one, the bearer of the spirit. So if we're to be spiritual people, we should be doing the kinds of things that Jesus is doing. And, and we see in Jesus someone who is immersed in the life of the community, who's touching people, who's healing people, who's feeding people who are hungry, who's teaching, um, and you know, all of these kinds of things, work, meeting people's needs, developing relationships. These are spiritual activities.